Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Daly, as you should be well aware by now. I'm a doctor of chiropractic that specializes in chronic conditions. I graduated from Life Chiropractic College, studied and graduated from Functional Medicine University, have advanced education in functional endocrinology, functional blood chemistry, the brain and neurotransmitters, and natural thyroid treatment. Up to this point, we've talked about how utterly amazing the gastrointestinal tract is. We've considered its function, digestion, assimilation, absorption, and of course, protection. I showed you how the gastrointestinal tract relates to different body systems and also different conditions. We're going to go over a, a few remaining conditions, tie it all together, and close out the series. Now, cardiovascular disease. Inflammation caused by GI triggers can have a serious impact on the risks associated with cardiovascular disease. Numerous studies have demonstrated the role that C-reactive protein plays as a marker for cardiovascular disease. C-reactive protein is a sensitive marker for systemic inflammation, not just cardiovascular inflammation, and it's elevated when GI inflammation exists. A study published excuse me, a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that men with CRT values in the highest bracket had three times the incidence of heart attack and two times the incidence of stroke. Moving on to neurodegeneration. GI inflammation will produce inflammatory cytokines. Now those, again, are part of the immune system that travel to all regions of the body and initiate a global, which means body-wide, reaction, including the glial cells of the brain. Glial cells within the brain structure will also produce inflammatory cytokines and neurotoxic agents, which can damage neurons and cause cell death. This has been associated with conditions like Alzheimer's disease, which is one of the second most feared diseases in America, second only to cancer, Huntington's disease, multiple sclerosis, as well as edema and seizures. Well, chronic fatigue. GI dysfunction can have adverse impacts on energy production in several different ways. Anytime foods, vitamins, and minerals are not absorbed, the entire body will be compromised. In addition to that, we know that dysfunction in the GI tract inhibits the conversion of the inactive form of T3 to be converted to the active form of T3, which will affect energy production. We also know that it induces insulin resistance, which means that you cannot get glucose into the cells for energy. It induces adrenal stress syndrome as well as hypoglycemia. It literally shorts, short circuits the citric acid cycle and the electron transport chain. For those of you who maybe took anatomy or biochemistry, that has to do with energy production. And it also revs up the immune system and places the body in a chronic stress response. Folks, that's not good. It has the potential of causing anemia. You remember what anemia is? As you remember, it's the inability to get oxygen into the cells which are vital for life. If you can't get oxygen into the cells, you can't live for long. Now, as you can see, there is almost no area that is not affected by a dysfunctioning gastrointestinal system. If you're like 90% of my patients, you know that you're struggling with some form of gastrointestinal distress. It might take the form of indigestion, acid reflux, gas and bloating, constipation, diarrhea, nausea, brain fog, achy joints and stiffness, fatigue, skin outbreaks, really the list goes on and on. I think you can see that it would be easy for chronic disease to stem from an unhealthy gastrointestinal tract. Our gastrointestinal system is under continuous assault by the way we live our lives right here in America. The food we eat and what we drink. The answer to this problem goes back to diet and lifestyle change. Now up to this point, we've connected the GI tract to chronic fatigue, anemia, mood and depression, 
neurodegeneration, Alzheimer's disease, Huntington di Huntington's disease, and multiple sclerosis, seizures, cardiovascular disease, inflammation in general, food sensitivities, autoimmune diseases, and the inability to lose weight. We've connected the GI tract to thyroid function, adrenal function, hormone production, immune system function, neurotransmitter production, leaky gut syndrome, systemic inflammation, and that is why I consider the GI tract the cornerstone of health. It is not the only thing to consider when attempting to restore a person's health, but without a healthy gut, nothing else will be able to function properly. In our health recovery program, we partner with our patients to unravel the complex, overlapping, and underlying conditions that actually caused their symptoms in the first place. Now, if you're tired of being sick and are ready for a new and fresh approach, call my office now. I'll authorize a complimentary consultation to see if I can help you and to see if you qualify if you qualify for care in our office. Now, I hope that this series has added value to your life and in some way helps you reach your destiny and fulfill your purpose. Thanks so very much for your time and attention. I look forward to hearing from you and I wish you the very best of health.